Okay, so we're now coming up to that altitude restriction of 820 feet before the muzzler intersection. So we need to add some power and level off here. So we can see in a distance here that's definitely the aerodrome beacon that's flashing away. But still we don't have the runway environment in sight, so we still can't continue below minimums at this stage. And that's okay because we can actually go down to 620 feet because we can identify the muzzler intersection. And the way that we could do that is earlier on we set up the 229 radio from the Waycross VOR. And we put that in the OBS as a 2 indication with 049 uh, showing at the top. Now, you'll see the needle here. When we start to come towards the muzzler intersection, we'll start to move in towards the center of the OBS. And that means that we're coming up to the muzzler intersection. Once it crosses through the middle, that means that we've passed the muzzler intersection. And then we can actually start our descent down to 620 feet which are the minimums for the approach. And there's a CDI needle in the middle. So we're now at the muzzler intersection. So let's reduce the power and then start that descent down to 620 feet and hopefully we'll get the runway in sight. And that looks like we've got the uh, runway edge lights there and the threshold in sight. So that means that we are good to continue the approach now. Now you'll notice that we're not quite lined up with the runway. And that's because if we have a look at the approach plate here, the final approach track of 138 is not coincident with the actual runway heading, which is 141.